I'm CJ with Starter Builds, and today I'm going to show you to build this really cool DIY kid bookshelf on Starter Build. What is up guys, CJ here with Starter Build, and in today's video we're still working on the nursery, and we're going to be creating a space savings uh, bookcase, if you will. I saw one of these on Amazon, I really liked the design of it, and right now we're trying to conceptualize how we're going to build this. And I think we're going to be using some scrap 1x3s to essentially build out the bookcase. But the idea of this is it actually sits on the wall. So if you have a really tight space, uh, this is great for cookbooks, uh, children books. I've even seen ones where there's knobs at the top to hang hats, umbrellas, other things like that. So you can become very creative with this type of build. But I think we're actually going to be removing this closet door here uh, in the nursery. And we're going to be putting it on this wall here for... Um, just putting up a couple different items for uh, my son's, you know, books and other things like that. So stay tuned. I'm still trying to conceptualize the build, but I'll have a link down below to the one from Amazon. Um, I believe it's around 90 bucks, but I'm going to try and build this for a little bit less than that. See if we can DIY hack this and make it a little bit more affordable. So stay tuned for the build. I'm going to get out in the shop and we'll start to craft up the way we're going to build this and we'll go from there. All right, we're back in the shop here, and luckily we have some leftover material from the DIY dresser video. If you haven't watched that, I'll have it linked down below. Definitely check that out as it was my first time building a dresser, but give me some tips what I could do better. So essentially what we're going to be doing here is ripping these down to our desired height, uh, which is going to be 70 inches, I believe, and our width about 22 and a half. We're going to rip it down on the table saw. We'll use the miter saw to get our correspondence. The only thing we'll have to purchase for this is some dolls. I have some left over from something else I was doing, um, but this is just going to be for test fitting to see which width uh, size doll I like better um, in correlation to the shelves. So let's get into this project. It's going to be very DIY friendly, so stay tuned for the rest of the build. Cool, so we got it mocked out right now for this nursery bookshelf here. Um, essentially we have two one by fours on the outside and then five shelves going up there. Um, I'm gonna use this as across the bottom just to give it a little bit more um, support. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna rip down these on the table saw and I'm actually gonna put these in the front here as well. Um, I still need to notch out the section here for the baseboard. So I will get working on that. We're gonna rip these down on the table saw, but again, this is just a mock draft. Um, we are going to attach this with wood glue and probably one and one fourth brad nails. Um, so let's get this on the table saw and get these ripped down. We'll go from there. <laughs> 